For this recipe, you will need a 9-inch pre-baked pie shell crust. I made my own, and I will include my pie crust recipe below this video. I don't make pies too often, so the crust may not be the prettiest, but it does taste good, and you can hide a lot of the imperfections with the whipped cream and decorations. Now I am making the glue that holds the strawberries together. This really adds a lot of flavor and gives the pie that extra refreshing strawberry burst. In my saucepan on medium heat, I have one cup of water, a half a cup of granulated sugar, and three tablespoons of cornstarch. Cooking and stirring until it comes to a simmer and thickens. Once the mixture is thick and smooth, I'm removing from the heat. This is a three ounce package of strawberry gelatin, and I'm giving it a good stir to incorporate. That is such a beautiful color, and it smells great. Here I have two pounds of fresh strawberries, and this ended up being about three cups. You can use up to four cups of strawberries for this recipe. I left the strawberries get really ripe, so the strawberry flavor is at its peak. I cleaned and cut the strawberries in half, and the bigger ones in quarters, giving the strawberries a gentle toss in the gelatin mixture to make sure that they are thoroughly coated. Pouring the strawberry filling into a cooled, pre-baked pie crust and gently rearranging and leveling out. Make sure you scrape out the gelatin in the bowl and just pour over the top of the strawberries. This is going into the refrigerator until the pie sets and is firm and that usually is about an hour or two. After the pie sets, you can decorate however you like. I'm piping on a little whipped cream, a fresh sliced strawberry, and a little mint. If you don't already know, I have a special love for strawberries. They bring some good memories, they are beautiful, and I love the taste. This strawberry pie recipe is the best. So beautiful and a great refreshing summer taste. This pie will be a hit at the family picnic table. I hope you give this delicious homemade strawberry pie a try and enjoy. You can make your own sugar cookie dough, but today I'm using a packaged dough. I'm cutting the dough into pieces and then pressing out evenly onto the pan. I lightly oiled the pan so the crust doesn't stick. Just be patient and spread out the dough as best you can, making sure you spread to the edges. I found that by lightly wetting my fingers and palm of my hands, it helped in spreading out the dough. If not, you'll find the dough will stick to your fingers and hands. You can also try flour. This is going into a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 12 to 14 minutes or until the crust is golden brown. Once done, I'm cooling the crust to room temperature and then refrigerating until cold. While the crust is cooling, I'm going to make the cream cheese layer. I have a block of room temperature cream cheese and I'm adding in a little confectioner sugar and vanilla extract. I'm giving that a good whisk with my hand mixer until creamy. Next, I'm folding in an 8 ounce container of whipped cream and if you feel ambitious, you certainly can make your own. The cookie dough crust is cooled, and I'm spreading the cream cheese mixture evenly over the crust, refrigerating again until cold. Just a reminder that I will leave the recipe and the list of ingredients for this dessert fruit pizza below this video. 
Also remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video recipe and click the bell to make sure you receive notification of all my future video recipes. Before I decorate the fruit pizza, I have one more thing to make and that is the glaze for the top. In a saucepan on medium heat, I'm adding in a half a cup of sugar, a pinch of salt, and a tablespoon of cornstarch. Just giving that a mix to incorporate, and then I'm adding in a quarter cup of water, a half a cup of orange juice, and a tablespoon of lemon juice. Giving that a good mix and bringing up to a boil on medium heat. Once at a boil, I'm letting that cook for one to two minutes while stirring. The glaze will thicken and will be ready when it coats the back of a spoon. Remove from the heat and cool to room temperature. You can use any fruit that you like or have on hand. I have some fresh blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries. I rinsed, drained, and now they're drying on a towel. You don't want to have the fruit wet when putting on the pizza. I'm also using some canned apricot halves that are drained and lightly sponge dry with a paper towel. Now it's time for the fun part. There's no right or wrong here. Just get your creative juices flowing. You can start in the middle or the outside. I'm starting in the middle and creating as I go. The key is just have fun. This would be a great project for the kids. Once you have the fruit applied, it's time for the glaze. The orange glaze really makes the fruit pizza extra pretty and adds a hint of orange flavor. With any fruit salad, I've noticed that oranges or orange juice really brings all the fruit flavors together. I'm lightly brushing on the orange glaze until all the fruit is coated. You probably won't need all the glaze. Once done, the fruit pizza is going back in the refrigerator until completely cool. I don't have to tell you how delicious and refreshing this fruit pizza tasted. The sugar cookie crust is a great sweet base. The cream cheese layer holds everything together and you can taste all the refreshing fruits. I hope you give this dessert fruit pizza a try and enjoy. If you like this video recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!